Hello everybody, it's Barbara, and welcome to my review of yet another Poppy Parker doll from the Traveler series. I just want to take a moment to give some appreciation to the box. It's meant to look like a classic style luggage from the 1950s and 60s. Uh, when people really traveled and they traveled for a longer period of time because it took longer to get to where they were going. Uh, the stickers on the front all indicate dolls that have been released. Uh, Hello New York, uh, the London Club doll for 20, W Club 2020, uh, Sizzle in Paris, which was a lottery doll, Mad for Milan, who I'm going to say a lot more about in a minute. And then on the back, uh, very interestingly, we have four more stickers, Marrakesh, India, Egypt, and Bali. These four we have not seen yet, though we have had one from Tokyo. So maybe these are four more that are coming, or maybe these are throwbacks to the World's Fair dolls, not sure. Um, but again, it's it is cardboard, but it's textured to look like leather. And there's detailing of reinforced corners and if I could just flip this down and there is a working handle also cardboard but meant to look like metal and leather so this isn't just a box that the doll would come in it is very much a box that you would want to keep this was obviously made in consultation with David Butry who is Poppy's creative father but the box itself is designed by Elaine Tremblay, who has been for 25 years the creative director of Integrity Toys and does all of their packaging. So without any further ado, let's get mad for Milan, shall we? What originally attracted me to this doll is that she very much looks like Eartha Kitt in the 60s. Kind of, I was thinking more about her performance in an episode of I Spy called The Loser. Um, and I think she won, she definitely was nominated for an Emmy as best guest appearance. And I think she might have actually won for that performance. But this is certainly a very attractive poppy. Um, it's the poppy face, but with an African-American skin tone. And the outfit itself is not overly complicated, but it is incredibly chic. And if you notice, I did something I don't usually do. I put the gloved hands on. This is how much I am in love with this look, which is a huge surprise because I never, ever, ever like leopard print. I'm not a huge fan. But with this doll, with this sculpt, it all comes together because ultimately... I'm thinking in part because the leopard is the coat, but even as a coat, it's not, there's just something in the tailoring that doesn't make it so ostentatious. So let's keep, if I may, keep talking about the tailoring. Um, it's a typical woolen or wool blend. Well, it's supposed to be a wool blend. I don't think this is actual wool. It's supposed to be a wool blend coat in leopard print. Um, with some button detailing in the front, though it's actually going to close and hook an eye. Though you could fool me where the devil, the actual hook, the hooks are, oh, okay, I see one, okay. You're going to have to have very careful eyes because most of the hooks, because they did use black yarn, black string as the yarn to be the eye to the hook. So, you're going to have to look very carefully, but it does close with hook and eye. It is, of course, fully lined, as all integrities are, and there is the IT label. It has a vent in the back for walking. And I, I was expecting pleating, but it was just how her being in the box that's caused it to naturally go into a pleat, although the seams are not, uh, it's not any special type of seaming. It's not like a double pleat. It's just a regular coat pleating in the back. 
but it is a very nice coat. And her eye palette is going to, which I will of course now bring this in a little bit closer so I can hold it to the so I can hold the camera to her. The eye palette is going to match the coat. It is um, a very dark brown at the top of the lid with a gold um, a sheen but not quite glossy gold on the lower lid lined in black her lashes are real they are applied they're about medium length and that is the most striking makeup on her she has just the slightest hint of blush on her cheek and her lips are positively neutral there is no um, other than to say maybe a little bit of neutral gloss, there's absolutely nothing on her lip. It's one of the few times I've ever seen a naked lip. But again, because this doll, in, they want to emphasize the neutral animal colors of the jacket, that, that works. Everything, every color that's in the print is going to wind up on her face, okay? Um, but this is not just the look. Um, we'll talk about the jewelry in a second, but before I take her hands off, I just want to show you again um, the gloved hand that they've been doing lately to look like an actual glove that will have the detailing on the inside palm of stitching. So this is something they've been doing for a while. So I'm just going to gently take her hands off and the coat so we can talk about the rest of her look. She comes with uh, four bracelets. This is the usual gold cuff clink, um, like cuffed with malleted gold. We've seen that many times on many different lines. We have the black and gold trimmed here. This we've also seen many times, many different colors. And we have, uh, this we've also seen, it's a smaller gold bracelet, but it has sort of a floral pattern around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, you know, usually the rule is mother says take one when you when you're going out of the house, take one thing off. Well, for once, I'm going to leave everything on. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix and match the gold and the black on her hands. Like so. And pray to God I don't break the peg as I'm doing this. Here we go. Note to Bene, uh, much like, and again, not typical of them, but since the lip is pretty much nude, so too are the hands. And the toes were too, but I'm not going to take the boots off. So what exactly is this whole look? It is a mini which is an interesting concept it's it's clearly something made for cooler weather it's a jersey mini dress as i just said um very short and it has a it has a turtleneck which i love i love turtlenecks i think they, they hide a multitude of sins full length sleeves very stretchy i'm like i feel like i almost want to pull this down a little bit more for modesty's sake um, and that's it. That's the dress. The dress is not lined. I don't think it could be because of the material. It's going to close in the back with hook and eye. I do not think you can get away putting this on anything uh, tall, anything taller, especially leg-wise, anything taller than a poppy, because then it might be, in fact, indecent. 
this necklace miraculously and i do say miraculously because i'm one of those people who tends to break them uh this is a double strand necklace you have a thicker gold chain that's also a little bit longer and a narrower gold chain leading to a gold and black pendant very much in keeping with the 60s and her earring is a simple not a hoop, obviously, but it's a nice rectangular, again, very, very mod 60s gold earring type. By the way, since we're here, her hair is mucho product. You are going to need to give this hair a proper bath. Uh, but it is gorgeous. It is multi strains going from a very light br to a, from a medium to a dark brown. It's not terribly light brown, like a like a the last step of light brown before it becomes medium from that to a darker brown. She has a headband in her hair as well. All very much makes sense for traveling, makes sense for the look. Very nice. And the detailing of her boot is, it is a zip up in the back with a buckle that you could adjust. I haven't, and you don't necessarily have to, to put the shoes on. And a very small, but appropriate I can get it in frame, very small but appropriate heel, okay? There's a bit of seaming over the shoe here to give it a little more detail. It's a faux suede. So this is really very much your typical mod look, which certainly Milan would have embraced. This, these are all the accessories that go with the outfit in particular. But there are two more pieces. Um, this is a purse. We've kind of seen variations on this purse many times. It does open. You could potentially put a compact in there if we have one. Hold that thought. Um, and it's like a little bag that she just carries with her, with her papers. And of course, um, as much as I would have had fun seeing this be leopard print glasses, I guess because the dress and the boots are black, they felt that they couldn't go that far, so they g gave us the traditional black jockey sunglasses, which fit very nicely on her face, as you will see in a second. And that is made for Milan with, all, with her accessories. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, the miracle of integrity toys. You don't have to create anything whole cloth, break ground, to really create something that's both simple and elegant at the same time. Because they take the time to pay attention to the details. And they have somehow worked it out that they can consistently do that. Um, I just want to throw back to the, re the, the previous two reviews I did. They were Silk Stones, um, Best to Tea, and Best Look. And when I did those reviews, I was not thrilled, uh, especially with Best to Tea, because she was wearing a Chanel suit that closed with Velcro. And I thought, Velcro is fine for Playline, and it really is. But when you're talking about Silk Stone, Velcro doesn't cut it. And then I was doing, when I was doing my review for Best Look, and they, they upped it a little bit, everything had uh, plastic snaps, plastic as opposed to metal snaps, but they had snaps and, but you know, things weren't lined the way they should have been. Uh, the lace outfit part of Best Look was not well constructed at all. And then I started to talk and I said, you know, we are going through something. Uh, a global crisis. Maybe the factories in Indonesia didn't have access to their materials and couldn't get things done. Well, this is made in China. I just want to double check by looking at the box. This is put together in China, but I don't think the difference between China and Indonesia makes a difference because China was hit first by the pandemic, and some might argue it was hit the hardest by the pandemic. And yet, here we are. They were still able to come together to craft a beautiful doll with 
several layers of detailing um, that did not exist on the silkstone. Proper hands, proper ears, earrings, jewelry that was not plastic, and lining. And, you know, and, and a proper feel to the coat. I mean, and a proper weight and a proper feel to the coat, given, uh, given that, you know, given that it's a coat and obviously she's a doll and it shouldn't weigh what a regular coat weighs. The point is, Integrity finds a way, even though it is an exponentially smaller company, to get things right. Measy Dolls. Smaller than Integrity gets things right. Mattel, WTF. What's going on? You, you, need, you need to have a moment here because the other doll companies are really putting you to shame. And that is a shame. And it's disrespectful to uh, Carlisle Norea and to Robert Best and to all the other designers that work on the Barbie line when the other toy companies and their designers are just putting you to bed every night without your dinner. So obviously, if I'm talking like this, you should absolutely get mad for Milan. Can you, is the question. Uh, mad for Milan was a, was a doll. Um, I had to actually go to my secret backup dealer to get her because my, my dealer sold out of her right away. Luckily, I was able to find her, so I was able to get her at a reasonable price. Because her sculpt is so lovely, just the new dolls alone are still, as of August 2020, still kind of hard to get your hands on. So you may have to wait a while for this to come down in price, but she's a thousand percent worth it. Do it. Get your hands on her. The playability here is is completely off the charts. I mean, you have you have a LBD, which is lovely, um, especially if you have a doll with shorter legs. This is a great LBD. You have beautiful pieces of jewelry. You have you you, you can never go wrong with a gold chain and a gold pendant. The earrings are nice. The boots are great. The boots would go great under a pair of jeans or a longer skirt or whatever. And you've got an, a not obnoxious leopard print coat. And, I, and, and I'm saying this as someone who usually finds leopard obnoxious. This is not obnoxious. If I'm telling you this is not obnoxious, you need to get it. So for me and for this Poppy Parker, who I'm now rechristening Eartha, um, thank you. Uh, and by the yeah. Thank you, and I will see you in my next review, which is going to be uh, a review I've been waiting since March to do. I'm going to do a huge deboxing of some clothes that, uh, from designers that I met via Instagram. And of course, I'll say a lot more about that during the review. But for Eartha and I, good night, stay safe, stay well, stay cool, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.